Don't be the next victim of the email gods and risk your outreach efforts by not following the simple step of email validation. In this video, I'll not only show you the best free bulk email verifier tool for sales, but I'm also gonna explain briefly what email verification and validation is, why it's important, so you know how to use it with your outreach. And whether you're a sales rep, VP, manager, or business owner looking for the best outreach strategies, this video will save you from making a big mistake with your outreach, save you a step and headache, in your sales process and preserve your sending reputation with the email gods so you can crush your outbound sales. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Patrick Spielman, founder at Uptix, the best all-in-one sales software to dominate your outreach. Now let's dive in so I can show you this tool as soon as possible. All right, hope you don't mind. I'm gonna share my screen here and walk you through a few of these things and we'll get into the bulk email verifier tool, of course, that helps you validate emails with 97% accuracy. And just FYI, if you wanna keep this document as a resource, you can make a copy of it. So go ahead and download it, copy it into your Notion account. But first I wanna get through a couple of real quick things to make sure you understand really what email verification is. So basically what, what it is, is it's a, the tool is just simply checking to see if an email address is formatted properly and essentially if it exists. So it's, it's pinging the, the email servers to determine that. All right, but one thing you need to understand is that email verification is not 100% guaranteed to be accurate. That's why I said in the headline here, it's 97% accurate. And so you don't need to be 100% accurate to preserve your domain health. It just needs to be a really high level of accuracy, but it's basically impossible to 100% verify every email. And I'll teach you how in just a second. The next thing you might be wondering is why should I validate emails for outreach? First of all, the biggest thing is deliverability. So bounced emails can harm your domain reputation. Uh, ultimately, you can get marked as spam because the email client providers like Gmail and Microsoft think that you're guessing emails in order to spam people. That's the biggest thing. And so when you do that, they're going to push you right into the spam folder. And if you get put in the spam folder, your emails aren't going to be seen. Okay. The next could be cost. So email validation can help you reduce the cost of sending emails. You know, a lot of email tools are based on volume of send. So this can help you lower your bounces and lower the amount of emails that you're sending to people. And again, this is another network effect and some benefits to actually your sending domain by sending less emails. Next is just keeping your data really, really clean. So email validation helps you determine if you should keep people in your list or not. So you can remove invalid email addresses, or you could even keep them in your database so that you don't keep emailing the same person over and over. Now there's some confusion around what validation codes are and which ones that you should actually be sending to. So let me clear up some of those. Now keep in mind, depending on what tool you're using, you can get different validation codes. So first of all, valids. Valids mean that the email address is properly formatted and it appears to be valid. Okay, it doesn't mean it's 100% valid. These are the safest, safest ones that you can possibly email. So of course you always wanna email valid or okay email addresses. Next are the catch all or accept all. What this means is that it, it indicates that the email address is valid. However, what it means ultimately is that the server accepts all emails. So you don't really know if it's actually valid or if the server is just accepting all emails. It makes it really difficult to know if the email is actually in use. This is the second safest bucket of emails you wanna to send to. And oftentimes like emails like from Microsoft, they pretty much all come back as catch all. So if you exclude these, you're gonna exclude a big bulk uh, portion of your lead list. So you definitely want to send to catch alls and valids. The next bucket are called unknowns, which indicates that the email service was unable to determine the status of the email address. And this can happen um, for a few different reasons, but it's usually because it was unable to, to check the, the email address ultimately. Hey, if you're loving the content and getting value, I'd love if you'd like the video, comment below with any questions. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button to get some of the best sales content on the internet. Now, do not mails indicate our, that the email is used for a transactional email service and not for receiving emails. So you don't want to send to do not mails. Then you got invalids. You don't want to send to invalids. If you're sending to invalids, this is where you can start having issues with landing and spam. If you're sending to invalid emails at a high rate, then the email client providers are just going to push you right into the spam folder. And then there's a code called spam trap. You definitely don't want to email these. These are basically booby traps by block, uh, blacklist providers where they create these emails and then put them into databases to determine who the spammers are. And then there's abuse emails. These are set up by companies to report 
fraudulent or spam behavior coming for their domain. So, so you don't want to send to these at all. And then there's a few other codes that aren't as popular, but you might be wondering a couple of them like role-based codes like admin or support and, and stuff like that. These just mean that they're you not used for personal use. Okay. You may not want to email these, but depending on the lead lists and stuff that you're building, you may end up with no choice. And ultimately these are, will end up falling into like a valid or a catch all bucket. And then there's disposables. These are just used temporarily by people at times. So you don't really want to email to these either. All right, now for the free email verification tool. So big reveal, obviously I said that I was, you know, the founder of Uptix and Uptix validates email addresses inside the platform for free included with all of our subscriptions. And we build it all the way into our sales sequencer. So essentially what happens is if an email address isn't validated within seven days, we automatically revalidate it and you can pick which codes automatically the system are is allowed to send to so you don't have to do any extra importing or exporting you know from a database into a verification tool into your sending tool it's all built into the process and it's just as seamless as possible you really don't even need to think about it at that point and you don't even really need to end up worrying about all these different codes or anything like that you just set the codes that we suggest which are like valids catch-alls uh, for the most part on cold outreach and maybe unknowns for any inbound leads it literally can't get any easier than this within sales sequencing Underneath your settings for a sequence, you literally just click if you want to allow email validation and which codes I recommend for cold outreach, valid and catch alls. And if you're doing lead nurturing, valid catch alls and unknowns, it's that simple. And the system automatically takes care of validating prior to sending your emails. As you can see here, it's validated 9,000 email addresses, although there's only 1,900 people in there. So it keeps revalidating to make sure if there's any invalids or spam traps or the abuses that you're not emailing it and harming your reputation and it keeps your bounce rates super super low so that you're not looking like a spammer to the email client providers and this is included free of charge with using our sequencer inside of the uptix platform and in case you want to learn a little bit more about uptix i threw some resources down below you can learn a little about about what we do we've got a cold to gold email challenge there's a webinar inside of here that i'm going to drop a ton of value in there feel free to check that out and then if you want to connect with us on any of the platforms feel free to click that link and again just keep in mind that this document is downloadable that's everything i have for you today now if you want to level up your sales outreach and fill up your calendar then sign up for a trial of uptix book a call with us and we'll help you implement all of these crazy outreach strategies and have you winning customers in no time. We'll see you on the next video.